Hey guys, this is Tora, and today we're talking about the Time Heist. The Time Heist is obviously uh, the the new catch up mechanic that they bring catch up mechanic they're bringing in, which is essentially you know you pay some money and then you get to skip forward. So there's going to be five different levels of it, starting through the level 25 up to level 80. It lets you skip to that level. So I've got level 25 here. You need to be level 10 to be able to do this, and each of them is going to you know boost up some characters, boost up uh, unlock unlock some characters for you as well as you know unlock some different stuff so we're going to go through each of them uh and that way you guys get an idea on what they are so level 25 this one here is going to boost these characters up to level 25 three star and tier five and these are the abilities so it'll be level three basic level two two one so this is going to be a real simple one for you to get at the very start it's going to give you a little bit of stuff it's going to unlock arena alliances and raids you're going to get some campaign progress up to level four three and one for each of those campaigns and then challenge progress you're going to get like as you can see here looks like tier three on each of the challenges all right, then the teams. So this one here is going to give you your wave one Avengers. So you can see here, it's going to give you Black Widow. It's going to give you Cap America. It's going to give you Hawkeye, Hulk, and Thor. Then it's also going to give you your defenders, which is Iron Fist, Daredevil, Jessica Jones, and Luke Cage. So this is a very beginner one to kind of get you in here. And then Kree villains, Ronan, Minerva, Kree... Hank Tank Camp. So that's Cree. Um, what is it? Cree Royal Guard. Cree something. Cree something. <laughs> the five Cree minions. So you're going to get the five Cree minions as well as Minerva and Ronan. So that's going to be like a. Um, a villains team that you'll be able to have but then they'll also be able to allow you to unlock fury you'll get like you know almost to unlocking fury from there like you're gonna get three star so i believe fury requires four star currently it, it, fury either requires four star or three star all right so that is the level 35 one this is going to require you to be level 25 so i assume what's going to end up happening is that you can skip through so you get this one that's going to get you here and then this one here is going to get you to the next one. So level 25 required for here. You're going to get your characters up to level 35, gear tier 6, loyalty 3. So that's 3 star. These things for the abilities, not really important. And then there. So the teams are probably the most important stuff here. You're going to get battlegrounds unlocked, which is... Oh wait, no. This is unlocking arena. This is unlocking blitz. Sorry, I forgot in the files for some reason... Blitz is called uh, Blitz is called Arena and Battle uh, Arena is called Battlegrounds. So this is going to unlock your arena. So from there, you're going to get your heroes campaign, your villains campaign, your next campaign. You're going to get your challenges up to looks like tier five for each of them, and then here your teams. So you're going to get your Wakandans. You're going to get Black Panther. You're going to get Killmonger. You're going to get Okoye and Mbaku. So that's just your four basic Wakandans that come from the very start of the game. You're going to be able to use these guys, obviously, towards your, um, oh, what's it called? Your Chaos Theory. So then you will also get Skill Military, which gives you your Black Widow. Now, this is obviously, you've already unlocked Black Widow, so it's going to boost up Black Widow. You get Punisher, you get Red Guardian, you get Yelena, and then you get the Merc uh, Soldier there. You're going to get Merc Villains as well. So that's Taskmaster, Korath, Bullseye, uh, Merc Lieutenant, Merc Riot Guard, and Merc Sniper. So this one here, so the first one here is kind of focused on your campaigns as well as Fury. This one here is focused on your, um, like your Flash events. So you've got your Chaos Theory here. You've got your Training Modules one that I can't... Uh, uh, I can't remember what it's called. Training modules, either way. Uh, you get your um, payday there, and then assumedly, this is your hand one. Oh, and the first one's also going to help you with um, the block party event. So, this is going to give you Electra, Nobu, uh, Hand Sentry, Hand Sorceress, Hand Assassin, Hand Archer, and Hand um, the last one, <laughs> Hand Blade Master. Uh, so someone's just asked how you get these. These are for purchasing. Now, I don't know if they're going to be entirely just for money. Assumedly, they're going to be, 
um, potentially for ultra cores as well, but I don't think you're going to get ultra cores for any other way. So that's your level 35 one. So basically so far, these are your event campaigns as well as block party. Uh, sorry, not your event campaigns. Your normal campaigns as well as block party. This is your um, your flash events. So this one here might be raids. Not sure. So you're going to get level 50. You're going to get tier, four, five, uh, tier 9 as well as 4 star for these ones. So 4 star is pretty decent. Like that's workable. Uh, as well as, you know, tier 5 abilities and tier 3 passive. You're going to unlock war. So this is probably going to be focused on war. You're going to get your red stars and your star tech unlocked as well. Your campaigns, it looks like to six. Your cosmic to one, nexus to four. Challenges all to seven. And then here, your teams, you're going to get Guardians of the Galaxy. So that's Rocket, Gamora, Groot, Drax, and Mantis. Oh, this is probably going to be legendary. So that's going to unlock you Star Lord. Yeah, this is legendaries. This is Sinister 6, so that'll get you Invisible Woman, as well as Shuri. That's going to give you all the Sinister 6. Yep, Swarm, Electro, Vulture, uh, Green Goblin, Shocker, Mysterio, and Rhino. You're then going to get Hydra. Oh, Hydra's not for a Legendary. Maybe it's the other campaigns? Although you do have Winter Soldier here who's used for a Legendary. So you've got uh, Winter Soldier, you've got Red Skull and Zemo. Um, yes, this is the Time Heist. You've got Crossbones, you've got uh, the different um, minions, the Hydra minions. And then finally down here, we've got Ravagers. You've got T'Challa, you've got Yondu, you've got Ravager Boomer, Ravager Stitcher, Ravager bruiser and then your x factor multiple man shatter star long shot and polaris so i think this is mostly uh based around a mixture between war legendaries as well as the these campaigns here the early like level seven campaigns so that's aim hydra sinister six mystic characters so far you wouldn't have mystic characters for here though I don't think. I don't think there's any mystics. Cosmic, global, city. There's a lot of villains here too. Uh, doesn't show all the bonus stuff that comes with it. No. It's just the characters you unlock, the heroes you unlock and stuff. It says web gifts, but you can't actually click on it. All right, your level 65 one, that's gonna require level 50. They're like, as I said, stepping stones. You'll get ISO levels this time, though. You didn't get ISO levels there. Roster data, it'll take the characters to level 65, tier 12, red star 2, and loyalty 5. So this is the first one that comes with red stars. 6664, again, that's really good. This one here is probably going to be the best one to get to, at least to start with. Stark tech level 15. Web gifts, again, is blank, unfortunately. Feature unlock, you're going to get ISO, you're going to get Grand Tournament, so Cosmic Crucible. You're going to get your Epic Campaigns, which is your um, Dark Dimensions and stuff, as well as uh, RTA. You've got Campaign Progress 6667333, ISO Campaign 2, Challenge Progress. This is going to be 9s. And then these are the ISO ones. So that's the different ones for the other gear. And then your teams. So I'm not sure what this one's going to be focused on. Asgard. So you get Thor, Hela, Loki, Sif, and Heimdall. This one's legendaries as well. Deadpool, X-23. Can you pay extra not to get RTA? Unfortunately not. You're going to get your X fact uh, x force there deadpool x23 cable negasonic and domino you'll get your symbiotes for whatever reason symbiote spider-man venom carnage scream and anti-venom does look like a little bit of that i think this is mostly legendaries you get pym tech so you get ant-man wasp ghost stature and yellow jacket you get power armor for some reason Falcon, Rescue, War Machine, and Ironheart. You get your Inhumans with Yo-Yo, Quake, 
Crystal and Karnak. And then finally you get your Shield Medic. You literally just get Shield Medic. <laughs> you literally just get Shield Medic. Uh, no Kamala unlocked on the Inhumans, but I assume Young Avengers is probably going to be in here. Because this is going to be the one that focuses on your sagas, I believe. So you're like Morgan Le Fay, Famine, War, Death, etc. Uh, so level 65 required, that's going to take you up to level 80. So that's going to take you, you know, like 15 levels under the max at the moment. Level 80 is pretty respectable. Uh, so it's going to take you up to tier 14, red star 3, and 6 star. That's pretty decent. Ability 6664, unfortunately. Uh, I would have liked to have seen some of these, like at least a 7 basic or something. But then again, it's kind of reliant on which character it is, whether a 7 is good or not. Maybe like a 5 for this passive would have been nice. Because basically every character wants their passive tier 4. Alright, with this one, you're not unlocking any features, but you're going to get a lot of stuff, I assume. This is going to take you up to Villains Campaign. This is going to max out your stuff. Not the Doom Campaign, but everything else. You're going to get all of these, like, maxed, basically. And then your teams. So, first up, you've got your Uncanny team. You're going to get Colossus. You're going to get Cyclops. You're going to get Storm. You're going to get Wolverine. And you're going to get Magic. You're going to get the Astonishing team, for whatever reason. Bishop, Beast, Kitty Pride, and Iceman. So that way you can sit them on the... Uh, <laughs> sit them away and not ever do anything with them. Thanos, Proxima, Corvus, and Carl. You already have Ebony from back with the Inhuman stuff. So that's kind of like the next step up from that. I guess this is the next step up from getting Jubilee. And this is the next step up from getting nothing because they don't give you mystic villains. They don't give you mystic villains, do they? No. All right, so you're not going to have... Phoenix, I don't think, unless Phoenix comes from here. You get Brotherhood, so you get Sabretooth, you get Mystique, you get Jugs, you get Blob, you get Toad, you get Pyro, Hella Road, and Nobu. Yeah, you have them, but they'd only be low, so that's a good point. You get them, but I don't. You need to work on them a bit. So this is Infinity Watch, you get Gamora, you get Nebs, you get Phyla, you get Moon Dragon, and then you get the Cosmic Blasters. So, what's this? Icarus, Cersei, Silver Surfer, Kestrel? Boom. Called them. Uh, so, someone asked, uh, let's say you have these characters, but at level 1, I started a few years ago, and it made no sense to level some of these characters up. Would people who never leveled them get them leveled up? Yeah, so basically what happens is... You will, when you purchase this, so let's say, let's say I purchase this level 81. Technically, I don't know if you need to purchase all the previous ones to be able to purchase this one, but let's say I purchased level 81 and I haven't ever worked on my Astonishing team because, you know, Astonishing is trash at the moment. <laughs> no offense to them. Um, basically, they will be boosted up to the, so they will boost the characters up to tier 14, level 80, three red star, six yellow star, and then it'll also boost the ISO. As you can see here, this will boost Bishop up to level five green ISO. But that's it for today, guys. Um, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this time heist, all the characters and teams revealed there that are going to be in the time heist. Obviously this is subject to change because it is data mines. Have a great day and goodbye.